Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting video tutorial of Adobe Audition and in this audition tutorial we will learn about few of the terms that are associated with uh, sound and to learn them uh, you better than understand how to work with sound and how to work with Adobe Audition. The first one of these terms that is associated with sound and you must have heard it almost everybody in the world has heard it it is frequency and what frequency is so let's come to audition and have uh, uploaded this audio trick in here and if i zoom in on it you know all these lines over that are showing here actually this is the frequency of our uh, you know audio track and all these lines are waves and these waves you know for example that the selection that i have done here is one minute okay let me actually zoom in a little bit okay just suppose that this selection that i made is one minute and the amount of waves inside it these okay these would be counted and for example there are only i don't know uh, four or five or i don't know so waves and the number of these waves these are called also cycles these cycles or these waves number is called the frequency per second if these uh, waves are more, for example, in one second there are like these hundreds and thousands of them, okay, then the pitch of that sound would be more and the frequency of that sound is more and the loudness of that sound would be more. But if a sound has low number of cycles or low number of waves of frequencies, then its frequency is said to be low and then its pitch is also low. So, when these waves or these, uh, uh, when they are created by anything that is making sound, they need a medium to travel. And what is that medium for us? That medium is mostly here because we live in the atmosphere, we do not live like fish in the water. So, when they come and bump up with our eardrum, they vibrate our eardrum and then they turn that vibration into electric impulses which is carried by the auditory nerve to the brain and the nerve interprets that as sound okay it's just waves in the uh, ear that we hear as sound there is nothing special about it and then our brain decides whether these are spoken words these are machine words or just someone is clapping his hand for no reason he's happy or stuff like that so I hope you understand the frequency and if you still did not understand I will teach you or explain it even more just uh, to, uh, let me know in the comment section okay so just if you do not remember any other anything about it just remember that per second the waveforms that are created by anything that is making waves is called frequency okay mm -hmm. now uh, let's talk about piano the lowest key or the lowest C if you have ever played on piano uh, is 32 hertz sound. Hertz is the unit of the sound and uh, 32 hertz means that the wave of that key is 32 cycles or 32 frequencies or 32 waves per second. Okay, so far so good. And the highest key is uh, about 4000 and uh, 166 86 hertz but we usually do not say that it is 4086 hertz we say that it is actually uh, 4080 uh, for uh, uh, actually we say that it is 400 kilohertz or 4. Point, uh, 4.186 kilohertz now what is the meaning of this kilo well the kilo word means thousand you know uh, just like you are measuring the distance kilometer means in one kilometer there are thousand meters and kilogram it means that there are thousand grams in one kilogram the word this kilo means actually it means thousand why I'm telling you about the meaning of the kilo in the audio audition uh, tutorial because we will be using uh, kilo word, uh, kilohertz in the upcoming tutorial uh, and mostly it is referred to the sound as kilohertz not in uh, you know thousands and stuff like that so it's better that you get familiar with this word okay now let's come to human ear human ear can hear from 20 hertz or 20 cycle or 20 frequency per second to 20,000 hertz 
okay sounds below 20 hertz and above 20,000 hertz are distortion and you will hear cannot pick them up so small kids might be able to hear, hear sounds that are above 20 hertz but as we get old our ability of hearing gets weaker and weaker so and mostly the people most of the people or the adult range is at 20,000 hertz so they do not hear it more than that and why this uh, information is important for you to make good sound in Adobe Audition well if you do not know these things and you have bump up the dialogues in your audio or in your video beyond 20 hertz and the people that are spoken word the other things are at normal level but the dialogues are beyond 20 hertz the pitch would be too hard and people would not be able to distinguish or hear anything they would just hear noise or the same thing is true if it is below 20 hertz people would be hardly able to hear anything because the pitch would be so low so let me come uh, and tell you and show you something else okay if we come here to uh, filter and equalizers there is these graphic equalizers available in here okay this is a small one let me open the 30 band equalizer this one you would be mostly working with equalizers and stuff like these you know to work with them you also need a very really good grasp or knowledge of frequencies and the different terms that are associated with noise otherwise you would not be able to properly work in here for example human voices are at the range of 300 to 500 you know hertz and other sounds are at higher sounds and when you are making a movie and mixing a lot of movies a lot of audio tricks and stuff like that so you need to keep the human voice at the proper audio parts that it is required you should not give a human voice the sound of a jet uh, taking off or a, a jet fighter you know making a sonic boom in the air human does not have that much fit pitch or frequency or waves you know in their sound they cannot sound so loud if it is then you, you okay you might be making a superhero movie in which uh, the human has a super ability of speaking and it shatters the glass and doors and stuff like that and women's clothes are ripped apart and stuff like that which would be awesome but uh, if everyone is talking like that then okay no if everyone is a superhero then nobody is a superhero stuff like that and the same goes for for example you are making uh, giving the sound of a bomb blast or AK-47 firing then you need to find out okay what frequency they or what hertz they actually have their sound is then you should need to bump their frequency at that level and put it on that channel and if you are giving, you know, above loss, the sound of 31 hertz or something like that, then that is not a bomb blast, that is just a small cracker, and even crackers have a louder sound than that. So that's, uh, for these all reasons, you need to understand frequency, and that's why I did this tutorial to tell you about frequency. In the next tutorial, we will be talking about amplitude and that uh, uh, you know term is also important for understanding sound and working with sound so for this tutorial that's it uh, in the next tutorial i will see you in which we will be talking about amplitude until then i say my goodbye and hope that you like this tutorial and also hope to see you in the next one adios amigos